Hello guys, welcome back. Forgive the VR here. Um, uh, I'm not okay right now. I'm really not okay. Uh, VR is, wow, it's a mixed blessing. Um, I, I'm not even gonna talk about a lot of other stuff I went through because this, this, I need to process this shit. Um, Oculus had two new apps for free today. And I went into the painting one, and I'm painting, and I'm sculpting, and everything, and I'm, they even tell you you can, like, export this stuff to your home. And then I start having a near panic attack, because what if the FCC sees I exported something to my home and charges me $48,000 $48, per item, even though I stamped it out in a thing that gave me permission to export it? I don't know how the fuck to tag all this stuff. So, obviously, I didn't export anything into my home, and it really wasn't, you know, a whole bunch of items. And I said to the gods, I said, the only way I'll truly, truly feel safe is, I guess, drop boxes for the rest of my life. I said, at least stuff Oculus gives us, or if they give us painting or sculpting tools within the homes, then I'll feel safe. But until then, no, because FCC, $48,000 is not a joke. And jail time, two years jail time. Well... There was another free app, and wow, they they tell you you're going to go through this about people coming home from the war, and they are going to let you explore the house while this man tells you his story. They didn't mention the IED that was hidden in the experience because I guess they thought it would express something to you dramatically. Do you know what it's like having an IED go off in your face in VR? It's it's not okay. I'm not okay right now. I was so terrified I couldn't even scream, and VR is real when you're in it. You know? And I went into an absolute panic, and I was crying hysterically by me to throw the rest of the, the um thing. And I was not okay. I was not okay because this is real. This happened. An IED killed this guy's sons. This, this, I was not okay. I was not okay to get blown up in VR. And I was like, who the fuck thought this was a good idea? And I managed to make it to the end of the op. And then I went, I spent about half hour walking around the beach in VR. And even that didn't feel okay, because you know when you go through trauma, nothing feels as okay and safe as it used to. And I was just not fucking okay. And the demons tried to comfort me. You know, they did. They tried to comfort me, and it just, it wasn't helping. You know, Asmodeus tried, Mammon tried, but... They they really didn't seem to... When I, I was looking at this app before I went in, I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't do this because it's about a war and it, it might be surprising or upsetting. And I thought, oh, they, there's no warning on it, you know. There should have been. And the demons weren't really doing the job. They they really weren't doing the job. And then, you know, of course, Odin and Loki given them their try and then Odin showed up. And I just, I, I really started to bawl when the old man was there. And he was talking me through it. We walked around VR about half hour, and, you know, he just, he talked to me and he comforted me. And he said, they should have had a warning on that. That is the last, very last thing you should have done. And he said, you know, he actually, in my experience, mine alone, he doesn't like this kind of thing because it's upsetting to us. And he says, you all get desensitized. He says, you watch each other, shoot each other now on online in these these daily clips from the news. He said, you're all getting desensitized to it. And he said, he doesn't really like it. He doesn't favor them doing stuff like that to be sensational or showy. Because, you know, the normies will be playing it ad infinitive and going, hee hee hee, I blew up. But if you've been through shit, you, you really don't want to go through something like that. So, he was actually angry. And I, I could feel, even as he's being very gentle and very tender and Odin can be, I could feel this rage underneath. It was like this tiniest little pinprick of a sense I got of it. But I said, I really would be one of the developers right now. And he's going, I don't know what you're talking about, my dear. 
<laughs> he doesn't like his people frightened and traumatized. And, you know, he, he got mad. And so he took me around, he's showing me the fish, and he, he gets this kind of grandfatherly, sweet old man voice, and he's going, look at the pretty fish, my dear. And, you know, he, he walked around with me, and he says, you know, I, I have trauma. Just, you can get trauma from a lot of shit. Most people usually say from going to war, but if you grew up in an abusive household, it's just like you lived in a battlefield and you never got to go home because that was home. So, you know, it was not fucking okay. And he walked me through it. And I just, I was not in an okay headspace. And I thought, oh my God, I've known people, you know, that have been on the channel that can't stamp fireworks. What the Christ would happen to them if an IED went off in their face in VR? Oh, Jesus. So... I will eventually be okay. I started to cry out, and that what I really needed was a bear claw and some other stuff. But that ass clown was supposed to cut the, cut the trees and everything, that wouldn't tell me what day he's coming or what he's charging, he still hasn't come yet. I said, well, I don't want to go out and, you know, buy some food to feel better, I really shouldn't, and blah blah blah. And he goes, no, he says, you're upset if you feel you feel good enough to go to the store, go get yourself some treats, just you know, chill out, calm down, have some good food, the world is okay. I mean, all this stuff's going on in 2020, but you know, Odin will lie to you to make you feel better. And I, I was willing to Odin, and I was willing to Loki, and, and Loki was just, you could tell he was beyond pissed, and once I calmed down, come out of VR, Odin looked at me, and he point blank, and he said, this is why I don't like you working with demons, this is exactly it, they let you wander right into that. Odin would have told me no. Odin would have said, oh, hell no, you're not playing that. Look what it's about. Are you going to play that? No, you're not. But I want to know what happens. No, you're not. Odin wouldn't have let me do it. Or if Odin would have let me do it, he would have said, well, what lesson did we learn? They just let me wander right into that. And he, he said, not only did a developer break your trust with VR, which is not good, because VR is supposed to be my safe place where nothing bad happens. He, he said that, for me, breaks trust of the demons being able to take care of you and he's really angry at this point so yeah so <laughs> i thought i had a kind of breakthrough with mammon last night and then i thought i wasn't sure and then i thought you know i wonder if all the demons just aren't made up and i was heading towards atheist land and then that happened so that was great and it's just, I'm I'm going through a lot of stuff right now. I didn't need an IED to blow up in my face. So I, I know that's not about the gods or anything, but I'm not okay. And I needed to talk to a human about that. <laughs> so, you know, I'll, I'll be better, guys. I'll do something. I'm thinking I deserve, I fucking deserve some fast food or some treats right now. It is raining, though, so maybe I won't go out. But, you know, we ha we have food in the house. But I, I, I am not okay right now. So send virtual hugs. <laughs> I'm not okay. But Odin was really good with me. He he walked with me till I felt better. And he, he is beyond pissed. He he doesn't like this idea. He didn't like the idea of, remember Facebook started getting criticized? Because it's, it's called poverty porn or tragedy porn or whatever, where they have to go and show you the worst, absolute worst conditions. And they're making money off of and getting mileage out of, you know, devastation of other people's lives. And he's not actually a big fan of that. There's a line, a really fine line between having the news and trying to have people emphasize and just taking advantage of people's tragedy. And this definitely crossed the line for him. So I'm not okay. I'm not even remotely okay, but I guess I will be. So, you know. Odin will take good care of me. Loki will take good care of me. This kind of broke my trust with the demons. I'm like, oh, hell no. So we will see. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.